Hello, I am Ghostly Tuna, and this is the Channel Points tool. This tool allows you to bind interactive elements such as on-screen alerts to Channel Point Redemptions on Twitch. In this video, I will walk you through the steps on how to get started. There are four types of redemption supported as of this release. Media, which supports audio and video alerts on screen. Voting, which allows users to cast votes, more on that later. Messaging, which are messages and unique messages sent through the point redemption. Text Beats, or TTB, allowing users to create and play short tunes to highlight their presence in chat. Once you have logged in with your Twitch account, you'll be presented with the app. The app is made up of three screens, the edit view, the live view, and the text to beat screen. To begin, you will need to add the alert scene to your streaming software of choice. You can see it by clicking here, or quickly add it to your clipboard by hitting the copy URL button. This is your unique URL and should not be shared with anyone. If the link becomes compromised, you can generate a new link by pressing the refresh URL button. Once you have your unique URL, import it into a new browser source. Give it a name, paste in the URL, make sure your source is the correct size and you're ready to go. We recommend you should not check the shutdown source when not visible or the refresh browser when scene becomes active options for the best performance and to make sure settings stay between switching scenes. To get started linking your reward, hit the add button. This will add a new item to the list. Add the reward name, which will be exactly how it is spelled on Twitch and it is also case sensitive. You can easily navigate to your Twitch channel points page by clicking the Twitch dashboard link at the top of the page. Once this is set, choose which type of alert it is, and then in the file location field, add the URL to the file. In this example, I use Dropbox, but any hosted service is supported. Currently, due to technical limitations, we cannot use local files. Once you've got these fields entered, hit the save button and you're ready to go. Try executing the alert by redeeming the points on your channel. Now onto the live view. This is where you can launch votes and see your received messages from message list alerts. Voting can be started by entering a question and simply hitting the start vote button. You can also limit what users can suggest by adding the values as a comma separated list before hitting start vote. You can also limit the amount of chat suggested options using the field below, keeping it at zero if you want no limits. And finally, by default, the system can be updated by redeeming vote items again. If you would not like this, disable this button before hitting start. Once users start redeeming your setup vote item, you will see the bar appearing at the bottom of the browser source window. You do not need to have a remove vote item if you do not want to support that. It is entirely up to you. Stopping the vote will reveal the winner to the stream and clean up, ready for the future votes, and the reset vote button will keep the vote active but clear all the votes. When you have a message list item redeemed, it will create a list on the live view. Here you can then review and delete where necessary. You can also quickly delete these lists by using the close button at the top. Now on to the text to beat section. This feature has a few components to it, but you can quickly get started by using the quick start button on the edit tab. This will create three new channel points rewards on Twitch and the bindings required to get started. Once set up, your chat is ready to start playing tunes. Send them over to the link on screen. Here, you can test and develop tunes. A TTB code is made up of the BPM and then the notes, separated by a hyphen. Each note is made up of the musical note and the octave, for example, C4. Notes can also be chords as well, like C4, D4, E4. Try using the highlight message to alert when a user lurks or enters the stream. You can manually add in these notes. However, if you're less musically gifted like myself, you can use the handy keyboard at the bottom. Whenever you want to test it, hit play tune. Or if you're happy with your tune, hit copy to clipboard, and then they'll be ready to enter into the channel point reward on Twitch. There is also some examples, should you want to get some inspiration. And that's the basics right now. We're looking at adding more alert types, allowing multiple random alerts when redeeming rewards, and much, much more. If you have any requests, ideas, or suggestions, Jump onto the Discord or send us an email. All details are in the description below. Thank you for watching and looking forward to see what you do with this.